Let's have a look firstly, Daniel, at uh, the overall uh, activity on the market. Okay, I think if we check uh, how the equities market has been in this year, 2013, has opened quite uh, positively in some of the counters, hitting 50% up just for the period of uh, January this 2013. The whole index, the 20 share index, is already up 8.1%, uh, uh, and that is quite uh, commendable. But uh, what is keen to note is that in the last three trading days, the index, the rise in the stock market has eased, which I think it's according to our expectation because the rally was quite sharp. And uh, for me, it's, uh, we are seeing a bit of price uh, correction and also some concerns, which I don't think is so major on the political. If you, if you, if you are keen to note that the Kenyan uh, uh, general election is on that much and we just had our primaries which had some concern in some areas. So I think those two main things, the price uh, correction and also some concern about the political environment may have caused the ease in the uprise of the market. Mm. We did talk uh, earlier in the week uh, and at the end of last week about profit taking because a lot of those big shares did go up quite uh, markedly <coughs> up to close on 10% which is the limit that they're allowed to in the day. But just let's touch on that before we get a couple of individual companies on the political uh, scene. The Ministry of <coughs> Finance uh, has warned, so it's not just uh, unofficial kind of warning that uh, warning uh, of fears that investors will be uh, nervous about politically instigated violence. How serious is this? Because there is a memory of the previous election and I suppose uh, an expectation on the government uh, not to allow such violence again. Yeah, uh, of course it's a, it's a concern for investors going back to what happened in Kenya in 2007 election and 2008 post-election uh, violence. And I think the, mes the message the finance minister is saying that he's talking actually to, 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 to Kenyans that they need to watch, they need to keep peace, otherwise they are going to experience some um, economic turmoil. Uh, I think the threat is not too much because if you saw the primaries, which I think most people are gauging the, the, the concern in, most of the, in most of the country they were, they were peaceful apart from a few areas in the country where we saw some, some, some protests because they are, their primary you know, uh, candidate did not go through. So I think it's a concern because of where we were in 2007 and 2008. But right now, uh, as you are aware, we are at a new constitution. So most of the things which were not tied up in 2007, 2008 are now tied up because we have a constitution a structure that is operating. Yeah. Well, as you say, it's a message to Kenyans rather to other people. And of course, uh, however isolated violence might be, the camera makes it look as if it's uh, everywhere. Uh, but they were strong words. He said no investor would want to take chances with money following uncertainty, especially during a tense political period. So the message is, is certainly strong there. Let's look at a couple of the companies, Daniel, uh, Kenyan Airways, a bit of mixed signal there because of this, uh, the new Boeing Dreamliner, they'd ordered it, they said they were going ahead with the order, subsequent to that uh, Boeing said they're actually holding those orders, so what's the situation there, and I suppose more to the point for investors, what effect will this have uh, on Kenyan Airways performance? Uh, I, I want to say Kenya Airways have had a lot of challenges, if you, call, if you check uh, last year with the issue about the employee uh, been fired and then a court uh, coming in and saying that they need to bring back those employees and then going back to the court. It has not been so good for Kenya Airways and then bringing the issue about the order that they made uh, with Boeing. They are ordering, they ordered about uh, nine planes and uh, one of them was supposed to be delivered uh, end of, uh, you know, the last quarter this year, but cons considering the suspension of, you know, of, of Boeing, then uh, this is not likely to happen. And uh, what KQ said, in case they have not received any f official communication from Boeing, but in case that happens, then there, are, there could be some mechanism in terms of compensation. But overall, this, this is not so good news uh, for KQ, because I'm sure in their strategy, they had already planned for, for these planes to start coming in. What sort of levels do they fly at normally? I mean, is demand exceeding supply of seats at the moment? So this would really affect their, their income? Not, not really, because if you check on Kenya Airways, they really benefit so much uh, in the planes across Africa. And uh, they are using mm. the, the, the other planes to, you know, for, for passengers across Africa where they have a very great uh, margin. The big planes that they're ordering for Boeing is for, for big routes. And uh, the, this is, this, so this is not supposed to affect their income in a very big, significant way. Okay, and then another company that uh, traded actively yesterday was Safaricom, the biggest trader. Uh, what's behind that? 
Uh, you, you always know that uh, the shares issued for Safaricom, they're quite huge. It's a favorite uh, for foreigners, anyone who'd like to come in, into the market because of the, the, the volumes that trade. And uh, it, you, you saw even, even if there was a net sale from foreigners, the price still uh, held there. there. There's so much activities because actually, if you check the news yesterday about the, 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 the revenue and the market share, though they have lost uh, slightly the, the market share, they are still leading you know, in the market share and they are really benefiting in the money transfer. So I think it's, it's a favorite, uh, there, you know, it's trades in volume. So you'll always see mostly every day that Safaricom will be among the, the major movers. Well, amidst the political uncertainty, another thing that does give indications of how investors are feeling is the bond market. Um, and there's a 20-year bond sale that will be closed today by the Treasury. What's expected from that? Yeah, the Treasury is actually reopening two papers, five-year uh, bond paper and the 20-year bond paper. This 20-year bond paper was uh, last issued last year, November, uh, and at a coupon fixed rate of 2%, but the market weighted uh, average for the accepted bid was around 13.5%. So what we are, kindly, uh, we are likely to note is that, uh, you know, this now, the, the, the bond is being issued at an environment where the interest rates are becoming down, this, this month in, on 10th January, the Monetary Policy Committee cut further the CBR rate to 9.5% by 1.5%. So that's going to be reflected in the outcome of this board. So I'm expecting uh, uh, from the, the last issue was at 13.54%, the market weighted average rate. This one is likely going to be lower.